in about three hours from now it will be the show 22 is gonna release i cannot wait i am counting down the seconds this video i'll be breaking down the diamond dynasty feature premiere for you if you missed any of it we're gonna go over all the changes to dd that we know about from this feature premiere get you ready to play dd tonight midnight eastern time april 1st it's time just three hours away when the game drops i will be live on twitch you can find the link to my twitch channel down in the description below we're going to be going through starting our no money spend grind so come through follow the channel from that link come hang out with us tonight we're going to be grinding flipping making stubs going no money spend at it first off out the gate as we hop in drops are back from with the show 22 and they're going to be available throughout the year not all year long not every day but they're going to be much more available throughout the year versus last year we didn't get them through late so be sure to link your account to get those switch drops let's hop in though let's look at the changes here in diamond dynasty first off out the gate we have a brand new mode with many seasons here and it will be the show 22 a lot of people have been asking for offline content to grind we have that with many seasons it's essentially replacing extra innings that we've seen from previous only the show titles but in a much much better fashion what is many seasons you ask it is going to be three inning games in a miniature season format you're going to play 24 three inning games with your diamond dynasty team against these preset teams and logos that we see you're going to have both home games and away games in these series formats you play the 24 games and then there will be a four team playoff at the end one cool thing to note about this though the teams that you go against are going to be other players dd squads they'll be randomly generated you won't be able to pick what players you're going against but they will be other real players dd squads that you're matching up with here in any seasons you can play at whatever difficulty you want and there's going to be a ton of player stub and pack rewards for completing this winning the world series getting statistical milestones through the season so again imagine extra innings but you're actually rewarded with content for playing that for example right here we can see win your first mini seasons championship you can complete that once and you're going to get an 89 overall evan longoria that's going to be a nice starter card for your squad for coming through and completing this offline program this longoria probably going to update every several months but we can see other missions and goals as well for example this next one repeatable win the mini seasons championship you're going to get 10,000 subs and 5,000 xp we know how valuable xp can be in diamond dynasty there are a ton of missions we can go through here we can see other missions as well repeatable win the semifinals 4000 xp 2000 stubs stubs xp tons of xp throughout this mini seasons a lot of these are repeatable as well so you're going to be able to continually play over and over rack up xp rack up these rewards and if you notice these missions all expire at may 2nd so as we come across may 2nd all of these missions will refresh as well you can come through and earn these again and if you notice right here this one extra base sits on hall of fame typically are higher so you'll be rewarded for playing on a higher difficulty as well programs are back as well there are a couple changes to programs specifically with team affinity and any programs that we're going to get into in a little bit but we can see here starter program babe ruth is available here you don't have your standard program path that we're used to you get 40 program stars you unlock that 82 babe ruth you'll get some packs some stubs some icons and banners along the way this is our starter program nothing nothing too crazy but they will be updating these throughout the year with more programs player of the months time specific things like we had with the field of dreams program last year things of that nature expect all those to be back this year real quick note on conquest one big update a lot of people have been asking for you can see it on the screen now simulation speeds for conquest have been cut in half so no longer you're going to be sitting around waiting forever for the simulations to finish as you move through the conquest map expect these to be much quicker this year less of a monotonous time sink and more of a rewarding play where you feel like you're really progressing through something versus just having to grind through it endlessly also with the return of the usa conquest it's back we do have the gold prospect choice packs back again this year you get to select two from each division as you obtain these packs you can also get some of these packs in the mini seasons as well so not just going to be relegated to having to do conquests to complete these you can get some from mini seasons too lots of ways love to see these gold prospects back love using these guys early on in the game really allows you to use and learn about some prospects you may not have known about otherwise now one of the biggest changes to diamond dynasty this year is the brand new featured program setup so in the past we would have any programs you get your three bosses you get one of those per month 
every two months or so we get a team affinity that has 30 cards and that's the programs in between those we don't really have much content drops and it gets kind of stale there isn't a ton to keep up with and a lot of complaints about 21 where you completed the inning program you have team affinity done and you're just sitting around twiddling your thumbs wasting xp for weeks on end that is going to be different this year the first featured program is going to be faces of the franchise view this basically as team affinity from previous years we know there's going to be one face of the franchise from every team you'll be able to earn some of those cards through this featured program it's going to be four weeks long on this first featured program you'll progress through the program through xp similar to how the inning programs were last year but now we're not limited only having three bosses now one change as well you can see we have these choice packs here 165k for the al east 180 for the NL east etc etc those are non-sellable and you're going to get one random player so your first six packs you get for this face of the franchise program will be one random face of the franchise player from each division that will be non-sellable but as we progress through the program we can see here al east at 345,000 xp that is a choice pack so you will have six non-sellable ones that you get and then another six that you are able to choose whichever one you want and sell so you're guaranteed to not have any duplicates as you only get one random one per division the other one you then get to choose and that one is sellable so all 30 face of the franchise cards will be sellable as a no money spent player that's going to allow you a lot of flexibility with what you do you can complete these face of the franchise cards sell those and that's going to give you a lot of progress towards knocking out collections as a no money spent player now one thing to note with these is that you can only get 12 of the 30 through this program as of right now you complete the entire program you're gonna have 12 the other 18 you will have to buy honestly though as long as you're keeping up with this youtube channel and you press the sub button here right now and you're following along with the twitch streams subs are going to be no problem for you you're going to be able to buy those other 18 very very easily another thing to remember as well it is almost certain that these face of the franchise packs are going to reappear through other avenues maybe the second program has more face of the franchise packs in there maybe they're part of a flash sale hidden within a conquest map maybe part of a mini seasons reward update who knows there are going to be more ways to obtain these face of the franchise players over time so don't fret that you're gonna have to go out and buy 18 more if you want to day one you'll have to but as with anything and it will be the show if you want it day one not necessarily going to be easy to get the live series collection done day one and it won't necessarily be easy or affordable to get all 30 face of the franchises day one week one whatever but as the year progresses, we will be able to go through and obtain some more of these progressing through this is going to be xp based basically just like the any programs we now have our daily moments are mixed in with these as well we're gonna have collections we're gonna have missions all of it is going to be wrapped up in here and one thing to note as well i would not worry in the slightest about not being able to complete this as the program progresses just like any other inning program from last year you're going to get more and more ways to obtain xp i expect a lot of solid chunks of xp to be obtainable as we get towards the end of the program through collections through more missions through various avenues we're going to be able to progress through these very quickly one thing to note as well and honestly this is what i am excited for the most is that the programs are not going to vary in length and size we're not hard stuck to in any program that has th three bosses and then a team affinity with 30 cards those are cool those were great drops but one we had nothing in between those drops in 21 and then two we saw it with team affinity multiple times it threw off the power balance of the entire game edward cabrera and cliff lee and team affinity 2 threw off the power balance of the game ray turner and jacob de grom overpowered everybody else when they came out in team affinity 3 because SDS hand was forced to release a card for every team and make these really insane juice cards now they have the flexibility and variety to do as they please with this feature program we can see here feature program number two instead of four weeks long it's only going to be three weeks long and you have five bosses you're going to be able to choose two of those on to program number three it's going to be two weeks long with a hidden legend boss so only one boss in the third one two weeks long you're going to be able to zoom through that obtain that one card and this allows content to stay fresh think about it last year if they dropped the fourth inning program you get about halfway through that and two weeks later they dropped team affinity season three who cares about the fourth inning program anymore nobody does all anybody cares about is that new team affinity this allows the programs and content to be much more streamlined much more focused we'll have one program piece and content piece that we're focusing on at a time instead of having to be 
pulled in multiple directions or focusing them on multiple things at once we're gonna be able to focus on one thing at a time and i think that is gonna allow us to better build our team in addition to that from from the perspective of sds it allows them to better control what content comes out again they're not forced into releasing a certain number of cards for a certain number of teams they can do it as they please last year again team affinity really threw off the power balance of the game quite a few times and we had a lot of people stop playing in july august because the game just was overpowered we had almost in-game cards already this allows them to scale the longevity of the game much 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 better they have much more control over how the game progresses and i think these featured program changes are going to be a massive dub once we get in get our hands on them start working through them we're going to look back in a couple months with a game that is much more balanced with the ability to make more subs through a different avenue while also being able to tame some super sick card imagine we come around the all-star break and we have a feature program that's featuring all-star cards home run derby card uh future game cards all mixed together in one massive sick all-star game program that's the featured program that would be so cool and i think it's gonna be a great change overall another slight change to missions as well we now have missions that feature player xp progress so no longer do you have to get a certain amount of hits a certain amount of home runs etc 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 you just have to obtain player xp you can get zero hits with diamondbacks breakout jake lamb and complete this mission by getting 350 parallel xp progress just through going through and getting your ab's that's going to be a great change on that front couple slide changes the battle royale first off if you see the left side of your screen we have bronze program players in battle royale to go along with the silver and golds as well so just another avenue to get some more cool cars within battle royale we can see this bronze round here those are our first bronze we are program players we have trevor hoffman bob feller jimmy fox and xander bogart so if you notice though this is from a draft they have all four of those bronze players that wasn't a coincidence dedicated mission draft rounds are here after your first diamond round where you choose that first card to start your team you will then get a gold silver and bronze round that will feature all four of the mission cards from each br program so you are guaranteed to get those mission cards one of each on your team gonna make completing the br program much less of a headache not gonna have to be redrafting over and over and over and over and over to acquire those you're guaranteed to have three of those guys on your team gonna be flying through that br program we can see the first flawless rewards here as well second half jason bay andrew miller even though he retired he's still gonna be in the game this year breakout chipper jones all-star craig Bishio, and pedro martinez all-star from 98 so right everything around that 90 the 91 overall range really kind of the power floor that we're starting with here in 22 on the ranked seasons another slight change as well no longer is the ranked seasons program through wins you no longer have to get a certain amount of wins we saw last year people would just tank the rating by quitting over and over and over again to be able to get more wins easily it is now innings based that is a massive win a massive dub change there you're no longer going to be rewarded for quitting a ranked seasons game you just have to go through play a certain amount of innings and then you will unlock that reward so hopefully we get a lot more nine inning games this year man the amount of it was so tough to get nine inning games in 21 especially during the middle of the game cycle so hopefully i think this change is going to go a big way to fixing that also our first world series rewards right here we have brand new legend Dontre willis to go along with second half cal ripkin and second half jorge posada i love jorge posada cards earlier early in the game this Dontre willis he may be the popular pick but posada i may have to end up getting my hands on him events are back as well we can see this first one it is only a week long we're gonna be able to get alfonso soriano second half 87 overall and you can see right below me right now nolan ryan 88 overall at 20 wins and 15 wins respectfully only a week long with this first event though they did mention in the month of april alone there was going to be five different events with unique rewards that is going to be absolutely insane events are going to be a grind this year i love that reward us for playing ton of cards going to be put out through events this year going to be so sick to see that and of course most importantly you can now save your event lineups we've been asking for this for so long that is going to make event grinding so much better so much more fun you're going to be able to get some parallels as well especially now that missions are tied to parallel progress you can work on that now in events in a much easier fashion you can save event lineups as long of course as your event lineup meets the restrictions you'll be able to save that use it even after you lose and restart the event we got choice packs back again as well we got the big dog set one pack 
featuring Anthony Volpe. You can see him right below me. Yankees star shortstop prospect. Some say the reason they never signed Correa, Story, anybody like that, because they're saving room for this guy, Anthony Volpe. He's going to be available day one as his prospect card. Got a couple other guys as well, such as Jack Leiter to go along with him too. So some sick prospects here in the set one big dog pack. We also have the first headline reveal as well. Spencer Torkelson. The prospects are hot out the gate. If you notice too, there is a new headliner pack. 25k it is a now headliner choice pack choose one gold or better player item with a highly increased chance to find the featured headliner player guaranteed to find the featured headliner uniform item so in this choice pack for 25k you're going to get the uniform item you're going to get a choice of one gold or better player with a significantly increased chance of getting the headliner card as a choice from that pack of course our standard 7500 sub headliner packs are back as well this year with the same odds to pull those headliners going to be the same format as well as last year probably two headliners per league We'll see if they expand headliners this year, though, and go to a little bit later into the season than they did in 21. One of the biggest changes we have in DD this year, though, is the introduction of the Chase Pack. You can find these guaranteed in every 50 bundle. We don't know what the player is. We don't even know how good it is, but we do know it is going to be somebody that is very, very rare to get. I expect this card to be absolutely insane. One of my biggest complaints with 21 that I've heard from the community as well is that after a couple months, packs really don't have any value outside of pulling for some of the headliners, live series cards. They just don't hold that value unless you're pulling a Mike Trout or somebody like that. This is going to add a lot of value for that. It replaces the ball and is the habit pack as the topper for the 50 bundle. So 75K, you're going to get your 50 packs with the Chase Set 1 pack as well. With that Chase Set 1 pack, not guaranteed to pull the chase card out of it it just gives you the pack that gives you a chance of pulling this chase card out of it another cool thing as well is you're not only going to be able to get that chase pack through the 50 bundle toppers you will be able to get them in any show pack now you're not going to be able to get the card itself from any show pack but you will be able to get the chase pack itself from any show pack so this year you'll be able to pull a pack within a pack and have a chance to pull something sick from that chase pack gonna be super cool gonna add a lot of value to packs over time i imagine these will update every few months depending on how good they are maybe even more frequently like headliners do gonna be an awesome way to add some value to packs this year super stoked for that now if you know me you know we're going over the investments massive change here to investments that honestly i think is going to be a big time dub it is going to add some risk to our investments but i think it's going to be a good change overall it's going to allow us to be more profitable and more easily make subs. We can see here new and updated quick sell values for every overall up to 92. Once we hit 92 overall, every card is going to quick sell for 10,000 subs at that point. But leading up to it, everything is going to be adjusted. We can look at golds right here. 84 gold was 1,000 subs, as was an 80 and 21. This year, that 84 gold is going to be 1,500 subs quick sell. That's going to be the floor for 84 overalls whereas an 80 overall gold now is going to quick sell for 400 subs so that is going to crazy make changes in the market i could expect some of these lower golds to have much 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 bigger margins as the floor for those has decreased down to 400 stubs a lot of people possibly still going to be buying these for a few thousand stubs a piece maybe closer to a thousand stubs i think that's going to open up some margins but as well as an investment opportunity we have the ability to more easily make subs. If I invest in an 80 overall for 400 subs a piece, I don't have to wait for him to get to 85 overall to get a return on my investment, a five times return on my investment from 1,000 to 5,000. I can now, even if he gets to 83 overall, I've made three times my investment back quick selling those for 1,200 subs, much less if he gets up to an 85 overall, we're making 3K on a 400 investment, 3750, 4500, 5500, 7K. A ton of investment opportunities there, even within diamonds. I can invest in a diamond now at an 85, wait till to go 88, 89, and make a solid profit off of those investments. Same can be said, up and down the board. I think it opens up the door to more investability. You don't have to hit big time on a player going from silver to gold or gold to diamond. We can have smaller changes and smaller profits and smaller updates within these tiers as well. But now we have to worry, of course, about those downgrades and losing that value. That's gonna be something to consider this year. Somewhere I have to keep it in the back of my mind. We're gonna have to invest smarter this year, but as we do invest smarter, I think we'll make a lot more subs investing than we have in years past. Real quick look at some of the new card arts here. We have the brand new six series card art 
And if you notice that Frank Thomas, that is a new awards card art. Each awards card is going to have a unique style this year, color scheme wise within the awards card art format. Obviously, of course, we have the Mickey Mantle there front and center. Absolutely sick card art. Oh, that is what we have. New in Diamond Dynasty for only the show 22. Y'all let me know your thoughts on all the changes down in the comments below. Tons of changes that I think are going to make this game so, so, so sick and awesome. I cannot wait to dive in just two and a half hours away from the time I'm recording this right now. As we end, though, I want to show off a little special something. We did get a sneak peek at what the new diamond pools are going to look like in the movie, The Show 22. Let's roll the clip.